I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get these shoes. I'm doing my very best. Holy crap. Hopefully Kane feels the same way. First half was a pleasure. Yeah, sorry it ended this way. I hired a professional celebrity personal assistant. Hi, I'm Kane, and I've always wanted to have a personal assistant. This week, I finally get the chance. It is really hard to get the little things done at home. So many things that I'm procrastinating on. I'm excited for this to change my life so I can be a proper adult. So I contacted Pocketbook Agency. The Pocketbook Agency is a corporate and domestic staffing agency, and we serve everybody from founders, co-founders, CEOs. We run the gamut from working with regular families and celebrities across the nation. They're gonna connect me with someone who can help me best with my needs. My name's Kevin and I'm a personal assistant. I'm afraid that I'll be a mean boss. I won't have anything for them to do. I'll have too much for them to do. Personal assistants do a variety of different things. They'll pick up your car, put gas in the car for you, go to the grocery store, they answer your phone for you. The list goes on and on. Nothing is ever too big or too small. Celebrities tend to hire people that are 24-7. I'm a little interested to see how much he really needs a personal assistant for, because I don't know if it's that much. Uh, we'll see how this week goes. Day one, he took me over to his house. I met his dog, Marty. Got the rundown on how to take care of Marty. Did have a nice lunch and we got to chat and talk about our hopes and dreams. The more I know whom I'm working for, the quicker I can just get things done five steps ahead of them. I get joy out of knowing that their day went well because yeah. of my day going mm -hmm. well. Got a chance to bond before all the tasks actually start. Kane's really cool. Super nice, super easy to work for. So I bought this iMac five years ago and since working at BuzzFeed, we have a laptop so I don't need it. It's just sitting there gathering dust. I just have no idea where to sell it, how much it's worth, or I have the time or energy to sell it. My goal is to get this at the best price possible. I'm gonna try to do it on Craigslist. And if that doesn't work, we'll take it to like a Mac resale. He said the lowest he would go with was 800, but honestly, I really wanna get 1500 for it because I wanna impress. So there are these really, really comfortable shoes called Allbirds, and I've been wanting them for a long time. I just don't know where or how to get them. Hopefully Kevin can help me figure it out. I reached out to them and they don't have stores here. They only have two stores, one in San Francisco and one in New York. Probably not gonna be able to get it unless it's shipped to us. To have it shipped next day could be really costly. So it's the end of day one. No tests have actually been completed yet. I think a lot of it was just Kevin getting to know my life. Today is day two. A lot of us personal assistants, sometimes we have the craziest things to do for our clients. So I'm waiting for like Kane to think of something like that. So I have a beautiful dog named Marty and you might've seen him in a few videos before. Having a dog is great, but it's like having a child. There are so many responsibilities. Marty is due for a grooming, and I've been meaning to take him to a place that babysits dogs when you're out of town, but it takes an hour for an evaluation. This sounds like the perfect task for a personal assistant. There's Marty. Oh my God, so cute. We're gonna get Marty evaluated for daycare. He's a little nervous. They won't let me in the room because they don't want him getting distracted. But I'm gonna say he's a little scared. Wags and Walks lets you foster dogs. We've kept the cage because we didn't have time to go return it. Right now, it's just sitting near our toilet. <laughs> Little things like that that you don't really think of is gonna be really helpful. So I'm here in West LA at Wags and Walks. Kane wanted me to deliver these crates and we are back a healthy spot picking up Marty. Marty, you're so clean. Sure. You're so nice and pretty, bud. I think it's pretty evident that this one had a long day at the daycare. Marty is so clean and smells so nice and I didn't have to do a thing. How are these things happening magically? This is amazing, my life has changed. We're talking about end of the week, thank you appreciation party for my team and people on my floor. So I've always wanted to have this really nice party for my coworkers to thank them for being so hardworking, supportive, basically the best people ever. Since I have Kevin, why not end this week with a bang? I I want Kevin to put together the best badass party he can and help my coworkers feel appreciated. Kevin's like planned parties before. Our plans were team color balloons, food, oh, and a cake. Today is day three, going over to Kane's house. It's been a few days, Kevin hasn't sold the iMac yet. When you work for a big celebrity, if they say, hey, I need you to sell this iMac, they don't typically have this grand number that they want to get for it. In Kane's situation, it makes it a little bit harder to do the job. At this point, I just want him to get rid of it. I just want my money and it off my kitchen counter. Right now, I'm gonna meet the guy buying his computer. It's a success. 800. 
Yeah, he sold my iMac, $800 in my pocket. Finally, this thing is out of my mind, out of my sight. It's just been taking up so much physical and mental space, and now it's cold hard cash. Our office allows dogs, but I don't bring Marty as much as I want because every time I have a meeting, I have to find somebody to watch Marty. Since Kevin's here, I can take Marty and he can come hang out. The pocketbook agency, they came in and they did their little segment interview for the video. He wants me to remind him every two hours to drink water. So for some reason, I always forget to drink water and I get really dehydrated. I get headaches and I get tired and I'm not able to perform my job the best way I can. They don't always have time to be remembering to literally drink water, they're so busy. So sometimes assistants have to be that person to remind them those things. I'm also constantly thinking if a task is too beneath him, what if he thinks reminding me about water is annoying? What if he thinks I'm annoying? I'm not used to having a personal assistant to just do all these little things for me. Kane has been really awesome to work with. I just told him, I was like, if I could, I'd work for you because you're a really cool guy. I want to go pick up some things for the party to be more prepared for tomorrow. Also, I have to go do some shopping for him. Today, I need to remind him every two hours to drink water. Kane wants a new pair of jeans. Got to be resourceful as a personal assistant. You can't just go to the store and because they didn't have the ones that he wanted and say, oh, they don't have it. I decided I would FaceTime him. And we ended up getting a bomb pair of jeans. Sometimes you end up learning a little bit from the principal. Kane took me up to the roof. So one of the nice things about having a personal assistant is having someone to take Instagram photos. So we went on the roof and had a fun time taking photos for each other. And I got to teach him a few tips that I learned from past videos. And I let him borrow my jacket and it was a fun time. So he taught me how to take an Instagram photo. He does this like one, two, three, and he takes the picture. One, two, three. He seemed really thankful and happy to learn some tips that maybe he never really knew before. So Kevin started on Monday and today is Thursday and the shoes arrived and I'm super excited. I saw these on Instagram. So it's uh, 2.30 and I can't sleep because of this party. This is one thing, you wanna get it perfect. Well, I'm gonna do my best to go back to sleep. And it's day five, final day. Today is the day of the big party. And at the same time, I have a big shoot going on pretty far away from where Kevin is setting up for the party. I'm not worried, I have full faith in Kevin. He's pulled off all the tasks so far and I wish him luck. So I'm in the stairwell. I'm looking for Kane because he's not answering his phone. When I'm directing a shoot, I'm fully focused and totally off the grid. I need to find out if he has these jugs for the punch. And there's a couple other things I need to talk to him about. And I just tripped and I think I probably sprained my ankle. The show must go on. We got an hour and 50 minutes before the party. I got the balloons. I'm gonna head over to Gelson's to pick up the cake, order the food. Things are looking good. So Kevin texted me and said he tripped. He says he's gonna continue to finish setting up for the party and I really hope he's okay. So we just ran over for my shoot and this looks beautiful. Beautiful. Holy crap. And I was blown away. There were balloons, there was cake, there was food, and I was so impressed by Kevin. He was able to push through even though he had an incident. Mad respect for that. With my busy schedule and the schedule that we have at BuzzFeed, like we would never have time to do something like this. Kevin was able to put it together. So after checking everything out, it was time to invite my coworkers to the party. He pulled it off to a T. Yeah, this is this very is so nice. Oh, yeah. I, so Thank you. I'm in love with this. When you said food, I didn't expect real food. Such a lovely Friday surprise. Kevin did an amazing job. I'm shocked. This nice stuff never happens. I am so grateful. One of the best friends I've seen around here. Thank you. I'm a phenomenal person. Aww. This is like the most sweetest thing ever. I think Kane needs you all the time. I want to get a t-shirt that's just like Team Kevin. <laughs> I'm proud. Kevin is proud. Party was a success. So after the party, we tried to make sure that Kevin was okay. And so we took him to urgent care to get him checked out to make sure everything was all good. That was a wild end to a week. I was not expecting I'd end up in urgent care. And the doctor took x-rays and made sure that nothing was broken. It's a sprain and he'll heal back in a few days to a week. Thank you so much for your help this week. Of course, it was a pleasure. Kane, he's a good employer. He's really easy. A lot easier than other people I've worked for. I really like BuzzFeed. <laughs> BuzzFeed rocks. Do you know the list of things that you have to do all the way in the back of your mind that you never get around to doing? This week, I got them all done thanks to my personal assistant, Kevin. One day, I would love to have a personal assistant, but right now, I don't have enough things for them to do, and also, I'm nowhere near being able to afford one. But hopefully one day.